everyone! I am so excited to make this video. About a year ago, before I went to Paris, I did all of this research online about which French pharmacy products to buy. And like, I swear to God, every single list had the same 10 items. So I went to the pharmacy and I bought those 10 items. And I have to say, like, a bunch of them sucked. So I was back in France um, in September and I wound up going into a super pharma and just sort of looking around and seeing what struck me as interesting and buying a bunch of stuff that was not on anyone's recommendation lists and I loved it a whole lot better. So what I want to do in this video is to walk you through my picks for uh, French pharmacy buys. These are products that you can also get online if you're in the US. You don't have to be on your way to Paris to pick them up. You can get them on Amazon, some of them at Target, but they are French products. Um, and I'm also going to walk you through the products that I think are really popular and are often recommended that I don't recommend and just let you know why. So I'm going to start with the box of I love these um, and I'm going to go with just like a basic product that is highly recommended that I agree with which is Embryolis. It says it's Le Crème Concentré. It's just like a multi-purpose hydrating moisturizer, primer, base, whatever you want to call it. You can get this one at Target. And it's really good, it's very inexpensive, most French pharmacy products are not like coming in at Sephora prices whatsoever. And yeah, it's just a really soothing under makeup product. It works well, I got a little travel size, and when it's done I'll probably rebuy it. Another product that I got that is fantastic is the La Roche Posay Anti Helios. And this is a sunscreen, um, and it's more like a sun lotion. It's just for your face, and it has this like very lotiony um, moisturizer consistency, so you're not like slathering a bunch of thick white junk on your face before you put on your makeup. It's like an SPF 50. It has like UVB and UVA protection, and it has this really cool pointy applicator. Um, this stuff is great. I wear this most days under my makeup. Um, my husband borrows this from me when we're going outside and it's sunny um, and he doesn't feel like, oh my god, I'm wearing makeup. He just feels like he's wearing sunscreen and he, like, he loves this. Like honestly, he like took one of mine. I have never seen anybody talk about this and I am obsessed with it. It is the Eau Thermale uh, from Aven and it is the cold cream for your lips and it's just like a very small applicator point um, really thick moisturizing lip balm that you can wear at night. I usually wear this um, while I'm sleeping and when I wake up my chapped lips are like magically healed. But this stuff is awesome. It is I think my favorite from the Aven products. I know they do the um, like the face spray that's like really finely misted water and I've bought that in the past and it's super refreshing but I always hate myself a little bit after buying like expensive face water. So um, if you want something that is just like an amazing lip product, it's like a couple of euro, this one for sure. I honestly, like I bought one for a friend. I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite. I use it every night. Also a discovery that I made um, is the Phyto de Frisson. And it's, um, it's a botanical straightening balm for unruly, frizzy, and rebellious hair, which is exactly what my hair does. You just put on a little bit um, on wet hair and smooth it in and your hair will not frizz. If you have like really processed, color-treated Jewish hair, which is what I have, no frizz. I swear, it's like, this is a miracle. I don't think I could live without this product. Like, I'm genuinely not joking about this. I think when I run out of this, like, I've already checked to make sure I can get this shipped back to the States. Like, it is that good. Some more really great hair products um, are Rene Furter. Um, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's um, the Style Finish Gloss. This one is insane. If you just spray, like, two pumps of this on your hair after you finish blow drying or flat ironing or heat styling it, your hair looks glossy, like crazy healthy. You can't tell there's any product in it. You can like keep your hair unwashed for like a day or two after it doesn't like look disgusting the next day, which I found does happen with some like glossy products where it's like, oh, grease ball. Um, this one is great. Oh my God. I can't believe I live without this product ever. Okay, so speaking of the Rene Furter line, here is another product that I like from them. I really like it a lot. It's more for like if you want to do beachy hair or tussled hair. Um, it's the Style Finish Lac Vegetal uh, Vegetal Finishing Spray. I, like all of these are amazing products. I don't even know how to like force them on you even more than I already am. Like if you're going to Paris 
and you want to buy stuff at the drugstore, like if you're gonna buy nothing else besides like these three hair products, buy these three hair products. Other stuff that I really liked, this toothpaste, which I keep wanting to call Marvis, it's not, it's apparently Marvi, um, which sounds so damn pretentious, so I'm just gonna call it Marvis, because I'll hate myself otherwise. I got Aquatic Mint. So first of all, this toothpaste makes me feel like a Victorian lady. Um, at my toilette, like it's just like it's charming looking and I've never described a toothpaste in my life as charming looking Also, it is super refreshing like it has a really good flavor I have always felt like toothpaste is one of those like, you know suffer through it So your breath smells great experiences, but this is like genuinely enjoyable toothpaste <laughs> this perfume because it was beautiful. It's the Eau Fresh uh, Rejuvenating Rose. This is just the packaging. I like haven't had a heart to throw it away, but it's also um, just a really beautiful small glass bottle and it's just got like the most beautiful design to it. It's very minimalist and very pretty and it smells like just delightful fresh blooming roses. I am not a perfume person. I do not wear scents. I do not care about perfume. I bought this perfume because every time I spray it on I feel like the most put together French woman. And like, I am not a put together French woman. I'm a messy Los Angeles girl. Oh, this is a great lipstick. It's the Tea Leclerc. I bought these when I was 18 and I wanted to be super sophisticated. They were my splurge lipsticks. I think I found them at Barney's. Turns out I was overpaying. They are a drugstore product in France and they're fantastic. Like they really do feel like um, comparable to like Bobbi Brown or MAC. They're just beautiful, smooth lipsticks. Also the packaging is gorgeous. This is um, shade number 10, Cashmere, and this is the Rouge Transparent, so like slightly sheer lipstick. Just beautiful, like I have it on now, it's really long wearing, it's really hydrating, it doesn't like sink in and give you like old weathered looking lips, because I totally put something on yesterday that did that, and it was horrifying, and it wasn't this. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but the woman who worked in the drugstore recommended it to me. Like, she, she looked at my face and then she reached for this product, so I don't know what that says about me. It's from Delarome, and it says fluid hydrant purifiant, um, hydrating purifying fluid with linseed extract for combination to oily skin. A light, non-greasy moisturizer uh, developed specifically for combination to oily and young skins. Um, it provides its skin moisture and brings an immediate well-being. I don't know about that, um, but I do really, really like it. It says it will work to tighten pores and to moisturize your face, and it'll do all that while you're just walking around, like, checking your phone all day, so I'm all for this. It's a great product, and it's not super pricey. And then the last product on my recommended list is the uh, Clorin, uh Dry Shampoo. I have it in the non-aerosol bottle so that I can put it in my luggage. This is, this is really one of the better dry shampoos that I have found. It's particularly the best if you don't want to use an aerosol product. Um, it's apparently open and now floating through the air in front of my, oh my god, it's literally all over me. Um, trust me, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> well, oh my god, it came open again! Are you kidding me? I'm not even squeezing this! <sighs> Dear lord. Okay, you know, we're just gonna move on to the products that I do not recommend, that I bought and was like, ugh, why? Why did I let the internet convince me this was great? Okay, first product, Bioderma. This is fine. There are a ton of knockoffs, like Garnier does one, um, like I think Simple does one. You can buy this at the drugstore near your house. It is water, it takes off your eye makeup. Like, you can buy it for five dollars. You do not need to haul this back in your suitcase from France. Here's another meh product for me. It's the Nux Rêve de Miel. This is a chapstick. It's nothing special. And I know they have the um, Rêve de Miel products um, in a pot as well, and I've bought that. And it's just a super, it's like a super thick consistency. I'm not like really into that one either. Like these were definitely like a disappointing product that I picked up based on like internet raves. Here's another one, Biafine, Biafine, however you pronounce this. This is just like a cream for if you have a scrape or something. It's not like, 
In my beauty regimen, I'm not typically reaching for first aid products, and if I am, like, I don't need to, um, I don't need to have giant full sizes of, like, random creams where I can't completely read what's going on in there. So, like, I would give this one a pass. Omeoplasmine is another one that I saw just rave reviews of. I mean, it's just really, it's just, like, it's nothing interesting to me. This is just, like, um, like a pomade that you're supposed to put on if you have a skin irritation. Maybe, like, people are using this in a way that I am not aware of. Apparently makeup artists rave about it. I don't know what you would do with it. It's Vaseline in a squeeze tube. Like, I don't typically, like, use a lot of Vaseline. So maybe I'm just, like, not the target audience for, like, scrape healing Vaseline. But if you're like, that sounds fantastic, then pick this up because that's, that's what it does. I don't even know. I do not even know what this is supposed to be for, you guys. This is the Aderma um, Epithelial AH uh, Ash or whatever healing cream. Um, it repairs and moisturizes and promotes skin remodeling. Basically, if you have a cut or something, you put this on and you still have a cut the next day. Like. Maybe it's supposed to do something for acne, but it doesn't seem to have any products that are for acne. Um, I'm, I'm not really entirely clear on what this is supposed to do, if it just doesn't do it, or if I've just been like putting it on the wrong parts of my face. The last product, like, jury's still out on this one. It's the uh, Vichy Normaderm. Um, Soin Correcteur, uh, Correcting Anti-Blemish Care. So this is just a typical acne product. Like, it's a cream, it has anti-acne properties, and it's also supposed to have, like, a lot of moisturizing ingredients and minerals and vitamins, and maybe it does, but I don't know. I don't see a difference if I have a big pimple and I use this. I don't have, like, a ton of little breakouts on my face, so maybe if you just have a lot of clogged pores and you need a product with, like, salicylic acid in it, that isn't drying, um, it's gonna go to work like on all of your like little acne bumps, maybe try this. But for me, as somebody who just like occasionally gets like a whoa kind of blemish and then needs like that specific pimple to be gone, like this was not doing a thing for me. Not my favorite. So that is my walkthrough of my French pharmacy buys. And I hope you guys learned something, found some new products that you're intrigued to try out. I think you can get most of them in the States, although, like, if you're ordering online from the U.S. from, like, Amazon or something, it is going to cost more than if you were just, like, walking into City Pharma in Paris. But I'm going to try and put links to everything below. And if you guys have any recommendations of, like, French pharmacy buys that you really, really love and didn't see in this video, please let me know about them. I'm actually going to be in Paris next month. I'm going on like a nine day long writing adventure. Um, so I need to finish writing this book in France or else I'm not gonna let myself do that anymore. But let me know so that I can pick up some new products and then maybe do an update to this video at some point in the future. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in a new video next week. Bye.